All right, here we go. Yes, I want to play first. No, I don't want a mulligan. And the hope here is a turn six Armada Worm, and if I'm really lucky, a turn six Armada Worm without a turn four or five Eyes in the Skies. If I can keep that available to copy the worm token, then I would think that potentially it could be lights out. Now what I'm really going to need though is to draw some land. Especially if I could get a forest. That would be most helpful. And that didn't work. So we'll put out the griffin and hopefully buy some time. Chain walker there. If I have to leave up the chorus of night, I can. Uh, I'm seller of songbirds. I guess would give me more blockers. Wouldn't give me necessarily beneficial blocks, but I do like the idea of getting that chorus of might up to a more substantial amount. And I think we can afford to take three. Excellent. It's getting us closer and closer to what we really want to be doing. It's just making a bunch of huge 5-5 five five trampling worms and attacking for the win. We'll probably make another guy who can't block. Which does help our cause some. Okay. Well, this is definitely where potentially one needs to attack. If I make that Beastmaster plus one plus one for each creature. Now if you burnt the Beastmaster that's where the problem would come in, but let's do a quick math lesson. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And mine would be trample damage of seven. And more. So honestly, I should just go for it, I think. Before that resolves, get in the night. 
I'll let him share it. <laughs> and yeah, that's. I don't know how you overcome that. Wow, that was pretty. Well, let's go ahead. I didn't see any artifacts. So the Sundering Growth isn't really necessary. I think we play it again. I mean, it was such a dominant performance that I don't know if we really need to change it. I like this hand. Uh, the Vine can get me the other planes I need. I don't have any of my super big bombs, but even the ooze is better in a hand like this because you don't, well, maybe you want to keep away, keep the creeper vine around for chorus numbers. It's hard to say, but I do like that I just pulled that card again, along with the Beastmaster. I wouldn't be su surprised if uh, Beastmaster met a Fiery Death this game, which is fine. Like, he definitely turned out to be a great threat this time, but um, in general... <laughs> He's not who we're banking on. In general, we're going for all of those other guys that came out along with the Beastmaster. That costs way more. And here I already have six land in hand, so... Actually speaking, now I'm up to seven. I think I can cast everything in my deck, hard cast it, which means drawing something like Axe Mate and Guardian is going to be a bit of a dead draw. But once I get my hand thinned somewhat. We can let we can afford to take a bit of damage. And land after land isn't good news. And with this, I almost probably don't want to throw the ooze in front of anyone because I think potentially he gives a, a matchup problem for these guys uh, that's that's ugly That's definitely going to require uh, a little bit of blocking. Well, that would deal 14. Is that right? Yeah. So he's a turn away from burning me out. And if I attacked, it's plus four, plus four. And he gives that to everyone else. So he's a five. He's a seven. And he's a six. That's a 
5, 7, 6, that's 12. Doesn't get us there. Not quite. Um, well, so I have to just wait, which is unfortunate. If he has any sort of burn or surprise attack or something like that, I'm just out of it anyway. Or if he had another traitorous instinct. But if I can hold a turn or two. Well, that's going to make things uglier for sure. Whether he can get through will be the next challenge. Okay, and how much was that for? Whatever the case, I have to put it on him to try to survive. And that's made his attack pretty unprofitable if he decides to go for it. But he does. Or doesn't. Or does? I wonder what plan he has that I don't understand. Cause it's already confirmed. I'm going to kill that, kill that, chump with that. Feel like fencing these potentially is more dangerous than the ash zealot. And I might be wrong about that, but just my feeling on it. Also, with one white up. Could go for Swift Justice if he had it, which he does. So that'll take out the Beastmaster. Which is a pretty good play for him. And Songbirds isn't a bad play for me. The extra guy could be relevant. He gets another threat on board here. But we're still in a bit of a stalemate. That's actually a pretty good pickup there. It's going to allow me to put some pressure on our opponent and it also gave me another guy, another threat. He could potentially have, I don't even know, a Vengineero or something like that. But looking at the blocks here, 
I think we'd be in pretty good shape. <laughs> and it's just going to go, I mean, from bad to worse for him. So I'll go ahead and swing with the griffin. Let's see what it'll give me. Didn't show me anything. But now I'm going to show him something real scary. And now my forces greatly outmatch his. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And now his outmatch mine. So, if I'm him, what do I take? Take two flyers in that? Makes sense. I should have pumped him a couple times. But realizing I was going to die didn't make all that much difference. Okay. So he does have. A sneaky little bomb of his own that we're going to have to be careful about. Yes, we want to play first. No, we don't want a mulligan. Um, key to this hand is getting a second forest. We are playing ten of them. And get the second forest or an X Bane Guardian. That could help me get there too. And not just get there, that can help me get to my next threat and my next threat. If it attacks in. I don't block unless he's right. So there, I'm gonna have to take it. Ooh, now, now it's really important that I get the forest. And I didn't. So with that, I probably have to block the fencing ace with the Beastmaster. What pray tell is he doing? Just a car? That would really suck a great deal. Um, don't like taking the other four, but that easily would have gotten to four. Had I not. Here, getting the second forest, I think, is an important play. It's going to give me quite a few options in the next turn. The biggest of which is that I'm going to put out the Armada Worm, and if I have to double block, I double block. This one's kind of a 
no brainer. Goodbye, Gate Graper. And if I had one more green, I could combine my lowly beetle with a great big fuck off beetle. I already had to use this street spasm, which is good. And now I start getting a few more options. Um, to me, I think I swing with both of those. We don't want to give him enough time to get to his answer. have to push our threat. Is this is Angel of Serenity. Oh, and it is. That hurts a lot. Don't love that play, but at least gives me something that potentially could face that down, or in this case, could just lose me the game. You know, sometimes. The angel kills you, I, I guess. Maybe two games in a row. So, good. I'm glad you out-mythic to me, Duger.